Hey everybody, welcome back to Bogus Birds Golf Vlog. I'm Mike and I have a really cool course to show off today. Uh, number 88 on America's top 100 public golf courses. Last year, I think it was 55, uh, so a little step back, but I think it'll it'll bounce back forward in 2019. You know, this is a course I've been wanting to play for a long time. I've had, you know, a uh, few friends around here tell me I gotta play it. I gotta see hole number 13. And you walk into a green. I'm like, no, you don't. You don't walk into greens. Sure enough, on this course, it's like a stadium. You know, you walk into a green and you can't see it from the fairway. I got some videos, some cool footage of that hole. We'll definitely show it off. This course, it's a Mike Strantz design. It's like funky, rock star-ish kind of um, character to it. And I guess that kind of fits who he was. Somebody who went against the grain with his designs. Uh, not a long course, 6,500 yards from their back tees, which they call the ripper tees. But it does leave you with a lot of mysterious looking shots where you have to trust your golf shot, plain and simple. Now the drive in, you know, you see this industrial site on the left and then there's this tiny little sign in the top right that says Tobacco Road. And then you see uh, par three on the right with this ginormous green and this water that protects it from the front. And that just kind of makes you think, holy shit, did I bring enough golf balls? Then you get to the clubhouse, really cool looking farmhouse design. Inside it's decorated perfectly. And the food is okay, pre-packaged sandwiches, a good selection of drinks and beers, uh, something to get you quickly out to number 10. They also have these players cards, a gold and a platinum card. Now, each one will offer you at least one round free, and then you get discounted rates throughout the year. Also discounts on merchandise and stuff in the pro shop. A hole number one you can see right off the get-go is a really cool design. 558 yard, par five number three handicap on the course. And just the looks of it, you have those mounds that kind of split it through the middle. I mean, I can't tell you how to play this hole, but I can point out some of the distances. 174 to the first sand trap, 250 from the back, just to clear you to the middle of this actually large fairway. Now you can see some of these darker green spots in this fairway. It was a little wet when I played and has a lot of the courses around here, they are gonna be wet during the winter season. Now this course does hold up pretty well to the winter and I do like how they overseed to keep the fairways green. This is a picture I took of the number two green with the surrounding sand and skinny sand trap in the middle. Hole number six, 148 yard, par three, number 13 handicap. It's not the most difficult hole, but this is where I learned about the rule. Uh, their sand trap rule, they have this improve your lies, something like that sand trap rule, where uh, you can pick your golf ball up and, and replace it you can take practice swings that is a local rule and it is helpful on this course because there is a lot of sand hole number nine 427 yard par four this is the most difficult hole on the course and you can see from this flyover all the undulations and they're not nearly as extreme from this angle as they are on the actual ground the whole way up you know from the fairway is going to leave you with a weird lie and then this green is elevated somewhere around 40 to 50 feet from the bottom part of that fairway and it's you know a long narrow green where if you're right you're pretty much dead if you're left you could be on hole number one still may leave yourself with a 125 foot putt. Hole number 11, one of my favorite holes on this course, a par five that dog legs right, which makes you want to drive it up this right side, which does bring in that right side sand. The cool part about this is the next shot. If you go to attack this green in two, you could leave yourself with the most damaging third shot I've ever seen. 
It's not water that short, it's that sand that you see at the lower right of the screen, but it is 25 feet below the green. And if you get close to that wall, you, you have to hit backwards. It's, it's insane. Hole number 13, 573 yard par five, the second hardest hole at Tobacco Road, and I can see why. It's the longest hole I've ever had to play. I, I couldn't imagine getting there in two. I think the only way to do that is to clear those trees on the right. Uh, that, that's not happening for me. Uh, however, you land on this lower shelf uh, with your tee shot, then you have a blind second shot around the trees, which leaves you with this, you know, insane, approach into the green. Now this is that stadium green that you walk into. Uh, luckily from, for this pin location, you can see the flag from that notch. I kind of rushed through this putt while I was getting this drone shot, so don't judge me on that. I probably would have two putted that easily without the drone above me. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around and checking out my footage on Tobacco Road. That's an awesome track, and I would definitely advise playing there wintertime. Only about $67 or so when we played, which was on a Friday, I think. Summertime, it is a little more expensive, so definitely look into the player's cards. If you're going to play there once, you might as well get the discount play there twice. If you appreciate what I'm trying to do, please hit the like button, uh, share me with your friends, send me some courses that you want me to play. I'm definitely going to keep trying to do this every two weeks.